Android 7.0 Nougat is here, more or less. There's a decent chance your Nexus device hasn't gotten the over-the-air update yet, and God only knows when device makers will get Nougat out to other gadgets you might own. That said, we've been playing with the update for about a week now, so join me in taking a closer look at the imminent future of Android. Now, for better or worse, there are no sweeping design changes here, just a handful of juicy and sometimes very subtle tweaks. Biggest of all, you can split-screen multitask now, which is a big deal if you have a big smartphone. Sometimes it works great. Still other times you'll be told that one of the apps you're trying to split-screen quote might not work unquote, though it usually does with just a few hiccups anyway. And some apps, like games and Instagram, refuse to give up the full screen at all. It'll be a while before app developers fully embrace it. That multitasking, by the way, is helped out by a few other additions. That stack of app cards that appears when you tap the Recents key is bigger, and you can dismiss them all in one touch with the new Clear All button. Jumping in between your two most recently used apps is just as simple as double tapping that same Recents key, and sidebar is actually crazy how useful this is. There's also the option to change the display size, which is basically just modifying your resolution. This encompasses everything on the screen, fonts, icons, images, you name it. Cranking the size up makes the device friendlier for people with lousy eyes, but turning it down means more screen real estate for your apps, whether they're running in split screen or not. The other big change is how Android Nougat handles your notifications. See, instead of just dumping them all into that pull-down shade, Nougat bundles them up by app, so all your Gmail messages are in one clump and all of your Hangouts messages live in another. Even better, you can act on those items without ever having to leave the notification screen. Think replying to a big Gchat conversation without even having to open a separate app. It's all about getting stuff done faster, and frankly, it's about damn time Android got this. That said, it can be a little tougher reading individual notifications at a glance because they're all squeezed together into bundles. Oh, and there's more. Not only do you get more context clues about the state of your device in the newly updated settings page, there's also a new navigation menu available when you're digging around in a section. Tap the hamburger icon and you can jump into any other section in a jiffy. That's yet another little thing that smooths out a problem I didn't know I had. Meanwhile, some of the changes that could be most important to you are ones you can't, strictly speaking, see. Encryption has been moved to the file level, which, among other things, means your secure device can boot up and compatible apps can do their thing before you even unlock your gear. It should also mean lower end phones can be partially encrypted because full disk encryption can really screw with performance sometimes. Thankfully though, this isn't an issue I had to deal with on my Nexus 6P, and a note to upgraders, this isn't enabled by default, so you have to go in to developer settings, switch to this encryption mode, and wait as all of your data gets wiped. Google also improved a feature called Doze to help keep your battery going while the phone is in motion. Now, unlike the original feature, which by the way still exists as a deeper level of sleep when the phone is just sitting there not being touched, Doze on the go instructs the Nougat device to delay app actions and shut off access to network connections when the phone is moving around, say, in your pocket. Your mileage may vary, but my Nexus 6P standby battery life seemed noticeably better as a result. Oh, and if you're paying really close attention, you might notice some apps installing faster. That's because of a new just-in-time compiler that's maybe a little too arcane to get into here. Oh, and of course, in an update of this magnitude, there are lots of odds and ends. Data Saver, for example, lets you define which apps can use your data plan without limits and which ones need an occasional smackdown here and there. There are 72 new emoji, because of course there are. You can display emergency info like your name, blood type, and allergies directly on your device's lock screen, and you can better customize the options in your quick settings tray and also use it to catch cats if you dig up this year's Easter egg. You can even change how certain notifications alert you just by long pressing on the notification itself. At the end of it all, there is no question. Android Nougat is a worthy upgrade. It just might not be the most immediately exciting one. Already, people are looking towards future updates, like the maintenance release that's apparently already in the pipeline, for exciting add-ons like Google Assistant and Daydream for VR. The thing is, what's here works, and it works well, but anyone looking for dramatic sweeping changes might be a little disappointed. If that's you, your best option for now is really just to hang in there. After all, the version of Android Nougat we have now is just the first step down a new path, and a lot of important changes this time took place deep in Android's foundation. The exciting stuff is coming, but that doesn't change the fact that the update we've got now is very, very good. Download and install it now if you can, but if not,
just hang in there, kiddo. 